Let's go, Libra. My little um, Libra cousin was just down here with her little boyfriend who is a Scorpio, and they were so cute together. Shout out to Joey and Joe. And oh, she's Jordan, and we call her Joe or Jojo. Her boyfriend is Joey. So it's like Joe and Joey, it's the cutest. She's like this tiny little, that's my Filipino side there. She's like this tiny little, you know, mixed Filipino girl, and she's fucking adorable. I mean, she's literally, my son thought her boyfriend was her dad. She's about to be 21, and he's 23, but she's so tiny and still looks like a good child. She thought it was her dad. I was dying, y'all. Dying, 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 dying. So I had a, a really good Libra energy in my house not that long ago, so I'm feeling good. And my Lilith is in Libra. And I love Lilith. That's why I have that extra vengeance need. Not only do I have a lot of Scorpio in my chart, but I also have Lilith and Libra. So I literally fucking hate injustice to the point where I will implode. <laughs> Oi. It's my hardest lesson is to tame that Lilith and Libra. But it's also why I was a kick-ass lawyer. I will go hard as fuck for my clients. All right. Libra, Libra, Libra. It's almost your birthday season. What's up with Libra? Libra, you were showing up hard in um, the Scorpio reading. The Justice card kept coming out and a lot of sword energy in that reading. All right, Libra, three more. One. Speak now or I will hold your peace. Two. Three. All right, Libra. How are we starting off? Moon. Upright. I'm not like other readers. I'm not scared of the moon. I love the moon. I am the moon. I'm cancer with the Scorpio moon. Like, couldn't be more moon. Fool, two majors off the bat. Fear, all right? That's what this is about. A lot of you are like, I don't, are itching to start something new, but you feel like there's a lot like weighing you down or holding you in your place, holding you back. I feel like you guys have reached a lot of clarity, especially these full moons. These super moons that we've had the last couple, Libra, have been hitting you extra hard. Extra hard. It's made you see things. I feel like you, I feel like this is you coming out of the muck. You see that moon and you're welcoming this energy. You're welcoming the energy of this, you know, term, whatever this shit is. A lot of things have been brought back up for you recently, feelings wise, like, I feel like you're letting, uh, it's just this moon card, I love this moon card, it's so freeing, all right? She's like bathing in this moon energy. A lot of you guys are trying to figure out how to just cut and run somewhere, dying to start new. What's next, Libra, 10 of Wands? That's in the past though, I like that. And it's upright. You got six of cups in the reverse. Look, in the I read art, so like the position, you can't really see it on here, but like she's looking with her hands up towards that six of cups in the reverse. So that's where the confusion is coming from. There's still part of you that wants to validate. I don't know why I'm getting this. Wants to, um, how do I say this? It's almost like a Virgo energy of wanting to fix it, all right? Or wanting to live up to somebody's expectation. I don't know how I'm getting that. It's almost like you're thinking that you let somebody down or you're thinking, a lot of you think you've abandoned somebody. But I feel like this person was toxic. It was 10 of wands in the past. Look, sometimes it's necessary to like, Cut off your own damn family sometimes. 
if they're toxic, if they keep repeating, you know, the same transgressions, if they keep, you know, hurting you constantly. I feel like a lot of y'all had to bail out of a situation because there was too much responsibility and like as much as you love that energy or as much as you wanted to, you know, help that out or whatever, it was just like, it was too fucking much. You're like, love is not enough, all right? That's a song by Yellow Wolf. Love is not enough. Go Google that song, Love is Not Enough by Yellow Wolf. It's talking about this like hot, heavy fucking romance. They were like high school sweethearts. They've known each other, the real them, like how they grew up and stuff. But like at the end of the day, love's not enough. There's a lot of other shit that's got to go on. A lot of y'all are thinking that. Like you're like, damn, I really did fucking love that person. But like you had to let something go because it was just dragging you down. A lot of y'all are keeping to yourself how much that hurt with that moon in the center of everything. A lot of y'all don't want to let somebody know how they got to you. I just got Shake It Off by Florence and the Machine popped into my head. All right. It's hard to dance with the devil in your back, so shake it off. That was a devil energy, fiery, ten of wands energy. You let it go. You feel guilty, though, for it. I don't, I don't know what this is. All right. Come up near future. Three of swords in the reverse. Future is changeable. It is not set in stone. We're going to see why that is here. Why do I feel like a lot of y'all hurt somebody else? But it wasn't... I don't want to say you hurt them because you did what was necessary. All right? God, a lot of y'all just put a pet down, and I'm sorry for that. I don't know why that just jumped in. What time I do Libra? Oh, God, I was about to say, Lauren, where are you? <laughs> Some of you literally just like put a pet down or, or like lost somebody. Literally like death. I feel like I feel like death here. All right. Subconscious. Ten of cups. Yeah. So a lot of you feel like you're never going to get that feeling again with somebody else. Also, a lot of you are feeling very misunderstood, Libra. A lot of you guys are feeling like just nobody's going to catch your vibe. You feel like you confuse people. Like, you don't understand why people don't get you. Like, I feel like a lot of people treat you like moon energy, like you're hard to figure out or like, like you're an enigma. But you're like, I'm wide open. Like, look at her. She's wide open in, a, in the light of the full moon. I'm bare. She's literally bare chested. You're like, I'm bearing everything. Almost, it's almost like people like accusing you of hiding shit when you're not hiding shit. I'm going to have to clarify this Ten of Cups. A lot of y'all don't trust it, all right? This is subconscious energy. A lot of y'all are so broken for whatever that six in reverse you're thinking about is that you don't even want to get into another Ten of Cups situation. But there's still this little thing in the back of your head that does want that, you know, fantasy. But in your mind, you're saying that's a fucking fantasy. Libras are very point blank. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's either this or this. There's a piece of you, all right, that realizes that this Ten of Cups energy is possible. That you can have the fairy tale. There's a small piece of you that still recognizes that. But then consciously we're going about saying that's a stupid fucking fairy tale. I'm not going to feed that bullshit. That's moon energy. That's, you know, a myth. Losing faith in that, all right, I feel like is what brings this three of swords in the reverse here. Giving up hope that you can get what you want and that you can have some kind of emotional satisfaction is like what fucks you up there it causes more pain it's like letting your dreams die <laughs> don't lose your fucking dinosaur anyone a stepbrothers fan this is like y'all you like you guys are like jaded it's kind of what i feel with this because you were left with a lot of you know shady biz with this moon card here and the ten of wands I feel like a lot of you are like really afraid to just get into anything else. 
Also, a lot of you guys are keeping your plans to yourself, and I think that is a good idea. Don't let anybody know your next move. Great. Ace of Swords upright in your control, all right? To this, you know, ugly three energy coming up in the near future. Look, you choose what to believe here. You know what the truth is. They want you to see clearly with this, not with these jaded, you know, goggles here. You have the opposite of what Aries had with the rose-colored glasses. You've got, like, shit-stained glasses where it's like you can't, you wouldn't even see the good if it came along right now because it's just like you're just tired of investing and being let down. A lot of you have turned very, very cold. I'm getting a little energy from this. Like Libra doesn't deal well with injustice. A lot of y'all had injustice. You were pissed about it. You're shutting down. You're getting rid of all the fairy tales and the pipe dreams. You're being very secretive with others. You're withdrawing. You're keeping your moves to your chest. I also want to say this fool energy here, this card literally says ha 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 on it. <laughs> and she's jumping through a hoop. A lot of y'all Libras, like I'm feeling my Lilith Libra placement coming in here. Like you're not going to be tamed. You are not going to be someone's fucking circus pony. You are not going to be someone's arm candy. You are not going to be someone's, you know, side piece. You're not doing that shit. You're not going to jump through hoops for other people and look like a fucking joke. That shit got you real triggered in the past. I like that. I like that a lot. Outside energy, four of cups. Uh, this four of cups, like, look. She knows damn well that cup is coming. Usually the four of cups, the guy's got his eyes closed. You can't see shit. You don't see it coming. You miss it. This is someone with their eyes wide open, staring right at the damn cup. And like, mm, I'm going to make you sweat it out. This is somebody making you sweat it out, all right? This is somebody making you wait. This is someone toying with you. You know it too. Six of cups in reverse. You don't like, there's some kind of energy. This is outside energy. This isn't you. This is somebody doing this shit to you, dangling something in front of your face. I feel like somebody thinks you're stupid. Guess what? Air signs aren't stupid. Air signs are intelligent as shit. Libras are goddamn judges. <coughs> Gotta have a doctorate degree to be a judge. Libras are naturally smart. <coughs> Y'all see it for what it is. You know this energy's toying with you or playing with you. That's triggering something. That's turning you off, all right? to be in an, an emotional connection with anything. <clears throat> You're like, I'm not going to get played for the fucking fool again. Hopes and fears, the queen of pentacles. Final outcome, eight of pentacles in the reverse. Letting something die. <clears throat> Bottom of everything. You got the same ace of wands in reverse that Aries had in the center. <clears throat> you're losing motivation for a different reason though yours is on the out external on the bottom of everything all right is what this is for you in aries it was the root of everything in the center of their whole reading everything was revolving around that um all right libra yours is like a little different here um wheel of fortune with the nine of pentacles in the reverse ace of wands in reverse you're like on some Lilith shit here where you're not going to let anyone fucking tell you what to do or be attached to anything. You're not going to be, you know, popping anything off for any other people. You are like not interested in being codependent on anyone. Also, sidebar, I feel like there's going to be some communications during retrograde for you. I almost feel like you sense this coming. All right, Libra, let's clarify. All righty. Why is the moon here in the middle of everything for Libra? Oi, there it is. Moon. Why? Two of wands in reverse. Five of swords in the reverse with the knight of cups. You're like, every time I allow somebody else into my personal space or my energy, every time I put myself out there, Knight of Cups, and move in the direction of my heart, 
that shit gets confusing. Air signs have a hard time with the feels, all right? It doesn't make sense. A lot of the energy you've been feeling doesn't make sense because you've done the right thing. You've done the right thing, so you feel like you should get the you know right result. It's not happening that way though, all right? For whatever reason, when you're like, you know, moving this way, like following your heart, following your passion or whatever, it's like all of a sudden these things like don't become options anymore. Or you doubt yourself. Moon energy is confusing. It is doubtful. And then you got this five of swords energy, which is again, like sabotaging yourself, like not, you know, <sighs> cutting your nose off to spite your face. A lot of you guys, I keep getting you telling yourself it's fucking stupid to follow your heart. You're having a very grown up energy here. Like there's no childlike wonder. A lot of you guys have just been robbed of that. It's like a, a killjoy energy with that. That's not really protecting you though to be in that kind of energy and to bite your tongue and to not really say what you wanna say. A lot of y'all need to get it off your chest. All right. Why is the fool here crossing Libra? Ace of Pentacles in the reverse. Yeah, not wanting to invest. Seven of Wands, being overly protective. Some of y'all are being overly cautious. Overly cautious. A lot of you are taking the exact opposite approach. And you're like throwing caution completely to the wind and not even thinking about how unstable that's going to make things for you. You're like, well, shit's already confusing. I might as well make it super fucking confusing. <laughs> A lot of you are big mad that somebody's been just coming up on some dumb luck. <laughs> like somebody got something that was not deserved. A lot of y'all got passed up for something. Something you thought was gonna like lead to some a new start and it, it got passed, you got passed up. You feel like that's just a stupid twist of irony is what I feel with that. It's like the fates are messing with you. All right, seven of wands again. Getting out a lot, queen of wands in reverse. Yeah, you couldn't get something you wanted. So now you're just gonna act like you don't want it or you know not pursue it again. <clears throat> get back on the horse. All right, Libra, why is this 10 of Wands in the past? Okay, there's that Ace of Pentacles again. That's what it was. Something took too much effort. <clears throat> it didn't come easy. There's that Seven of Wands again. There's that Queen of Wands in reverse again. Eight of Wands. It didn't come fast. Eight of Wands in reverse. <clears throat> <clears throat> it was a risky move, whatever this was, all right? You took a gamble on something, very literally, with the Six of Pentacles. You took a gamble on something. You dropped your guard. Seven of Wands, <laughs> Seven of Wands, Eight of Wands in reverse. Things either didn't go anywhere, they didn't progress, or the change that happened was not a good one. It was unwelcome. There's a real determination, like pursuing something to the point of exhaustion with this, like wanting something so fucking bad that we like overdo it, you know? It's like somebody who like trains too hard to the point where they blackout you know it's like you're yes you want something but you have to take care of yourself <coughs> it's almost like um running yourself ragged <coughs> i feel like a lot of this burden in the past was self-created Like you taking on a lot of responsibilities that not your circus, not your monkeys. You feel like a Virgo in this reading. I don't know if you're dealing with a Virgo. There's no, or, well, hopes and fears is the queen of pentacles. That's the only Virgo energy. I want the eight of pentacles. It feels, I feel very Virgo. It might just be Virgo season is very significant for you guys. Um, what was I doing now? Six of cups. Six of Cups in reverse. Why are you here for Libra? That was fast. Three of Cups in reverse. 
You don't get to go back, all right? A lot of y'all didn't do the right thing. Hire Fanton reverses after that. A lot of y'all don't want to see it for what it was. You don't want to admit defeat. I see a lot of aggressive energy back here. Like a lot of, it was like Capricorn energy is what it's feeling like. I will get the Wolf of Wall Street energy. Like I'm going to beat my head against the wall until I get this. I will beat it into submission energy. I want it that fucking bad. A lot of y'all are really wishing that you could go back in time and just chill with whatever this was. <laughs> like take it back. Also, you guys have an, a huge fear, okay, about returning to some abusive situation or way of thinking or feeling. Like, you already know there's nothing else you can learn here with the higher fan in reverse. You've already learned that lesson. You'll be like, no, nah, I'm done. Never again. Never again is what you swore the time before. <coughs> Was that the cure? Or no, Depeche Mode. Depeche Mode. What is that song called? Policy of Truth. Look that song up, The Policy of Truth. In the policy of truth. Libras are all about fucking truth and justice. I feel like you bought somebody's lies for way too long and you're mad about it. That's why that Ace of Swords is here in your energy, in your advice. I feel like a lot of you knew. It was like almost like the energy of like ignoring a red flag or purposely going after something that wasn't good for us or purposely staying somewhere too long. <coughs> you know the truth, all right? And you're thinking about it. You already know what happens if we go back down that road, road again. Libra, you're very aware, but you're also very guarded. You're almost being too rigid, all right? You can't let it break you, whatever this was. God, I thought something just flew out, but it did not. All right, why is this three of swords here in the near future for Libra? What is this about? It is Depeche Mode. It's Policy of Truth. That song is so fucking good. And I'm old. <laughs> These kids don't know Depeche Mode. Come on. Here's the Three of Wands with the Eight of Pentacles in reverse. I mean, the Eight of Pentacles upright. Dude, you have a chance to do whatever you want here. You end with the Eight of Pentacles in reverse, meaning that you are not going to become, you know, the master of whatever this is. You are not going to reap the fruits of your labor. You're not going to see a harvest. That's bullshit. The second you step away from this regret, and I feel like this is you. <coughs> a lot of you are really beating yourselves up <coughs> mentally. Like, how could I be so fucking stupid? Like, I mean, how am I this stupid? <coughs> you move away from that, all right? You jump on another ship. <coughs> There's no more pain. Also, a lot of you guys have to have a very hard conversation that you don't want to have. You're avoiding hurting somebody, I feel like, but you need to do that. Four of Cups, yeah, because you're wanting to turn something down or you're wanting to, like, look away. Just look away. Ooh, what is that? There it is, Six of Wands. That's the Ten of Cups. The Two of Cups. You, you can tell me till you're blue in the fucking face that you're done with love, Libra, but you're not. You're not. There's still a little piece of you in there that wants the fucking fairy tale. You want to win. Ten of cups, two of cups, six of wands. I want to be noticed. I want to have that can't keep your hands off you type of love. Death with a fool in reverse. <clears throat> fool crossing you. Listen. Listen. We do the Tyler. Listen, Libra. <clears throat> After the death comes a rebirth, all right? You got played and you feel stupid and you'll be damned if you ever feel fucking stupid again. 
That's what this energy is. But you're also coming across really cold and really disconnected to the point where you're going to end up calling in that loneliness that you're pretending like you like. <laughs> you don't. Oh, my right ear is ringing so bad right now. My left ear was ringing earlier. Now it's right. You guys are being too careful. And you guys are throwing in the towel on the happy ever after. Don't. Don't. Why is this Ace of Swords here? It's almost like you're trying to convince yourself, all right? That's Eight of Cups. Wheel of Fortune. You telling yourself this goes together, all right? Because the whole reason this is in your control, Ace of Swords, Eight of Cups. The whole reason you get the Eight of Cups is so you finally realize <coughs> your worth, your value, and, you know, where you belong. This was temporary. That subconscious, the Ten of Cups, you don't think you believe it? No, that's fucking not true. You avoid this heartbreak when you get in that Ace of Swords energy that's in your control and you realize your worth, you realize your value. You realize you just, that wasn't your place. But there is still a place. Wheel of Fortune. You have to believe that it's still possible. <coughs> <coughs> a lot of you are settling for something confusing. A lot of you guys are just purposely keeping yourself single and closing yourself off. And you need to open yourself back up. What's this Four of Cups chilling down here? What is that about? Two of Pentacles. Four of Cups, again, in reverse. This is a situation where you either need to cut something off, somebody's cutting you off, whatever this is. <coughs> you're tired. Like, God, I feel like someone's just been playing you, like, stupid. Like, they think you're fucking, I can't, can't shake this feeling. The audacity of somebody to think that you were like this ridiculous and this dumb that you wouldn't see whatever this was coming that you, you know, a lot of you were dealing with third party situations. A lot of people thought they were being real sneaky with you and hiding something from you all the while, you know, no, nah, you're looking right at it. <clears throat> Ace of cups in reverse, Ace of wands. Hey, there's an energy of a meddler here, like somebody who wants to stick their fucking nose in and like dangle the carrot and then pull it away, dangle the carrot and then pull it away. They purposely tie up your energy. They purposely give you little bits. They purposely string you along. They make you think you have a chance. They show you the cup. You start considering it and then... You offer it, and they do that. Turn their fucking nose up at it. <clears throat> Ace of Cups in reverse. They reject it. That's bullshit, all right? <clears throat> all right, let's clarify this Queen of Pentacles. <clears throat> Why is the Queen of Pentacles here for Libra? Why are you afraid to be strong, single, independent? It's got all your shit together. Also, the Queen of Pentacles is the wifey. You're afraid to be a wife. You're afraid to... This is like such a Lilith vibe, I swear. It's like you will never, ever give your power away to somebody else again. That's what you fear, committing to somebody. The Queen of Pentacles marries the King of Pentacles. That's the wife and husband on the deck. You fear that. You fear tying yourself to another human or being dependent on another energy. But at the same time, you like you're, you want to be that. You know, you do want to be that. But if you are a true Queen of Pentacles, like... Nobody can tie you down. Ace of Wands. That's what we have no motivation about. The Ace of Wands is on the bottom of your deck here. All these cards are mirroring again. <clears throat> Ten of Pentacles in reverse. You're afraid of losing again. You're afraid of giving too much of yourself. You're A lot of you were in situations, especially financial ones, where you were very much dependent on a relationship to you know, sustain whatever that was. Like a lot of you gave up stuff 
to help other people pursue things and that is really chapping your ass right now you're like after all i fucking did to get you where you are and now you're just gonna dip it feels very unfair you're also afraid to get excited about stuff you're afraid to like get your hopes up about commitment and about you know You start feeling silly, all right? You're like, I'm not falling for that shit again. All right, why is this Eight of Pentacles in the reverse here? I feel like you're shutting shit down. Like, you're not, uh, you like, uprooting your plants. <laughs> you don't trust the soil. Whatever the hell that means. All right, Eight of Pentacles in the reverse. What's that about? Whoa, on the floor. What are you? Three of Wands. Eight of Swords in reverse. Nine of Swords. Knight of Cups. You're definitely, a lot of you are just like, refuse to pursue a emotional anything. I want to warn you about that, all right? Because Eight of Pentacles is a good card. This is you leaving whatever that situation is. Choosing, you know, not to get past whatever that is and move yourself forward you're going backwards the eight of swords is in reverse you're backing up you're doing you're revisiting something that's not healthy nine of swords it's gonna you know not ease your mind it's going to make it worse they want you to follow your heart knight of cups even if it breaks again you can't be scared to like break again like i just got why did i get like a diver or a figure scare what am I seeing? It's somebody who does dangerous stunts, like a skateboarder or something. They try to land like a super, you know, risky trick and they fuck up and like, you know, bust their face open and break their leg, all this crazy shit. But if you're Tony Hawk, like, do you quit skateboarding altogether then because you got broken? Like, no, you heal, you go back out there and you have to do it without fear. You have to let go of the, you know, trauma Cause it's a real trauma it's not imagined for y'all but it's like almost like you're letting somebody else you know force you away from the things that you really want like there's a lot of people that have like pretty much made you feel like you're unlovable or that you're not ever going to get what you want they're making you feel silly like for what it is that you want all right libras that was a fun one